Things are changing a little bit compared to the near perfect weather that we had over the weekend. Humidity will be returning daily chances for some scattered showers and a few storms. Although the heaviest rain this week is going to happen over to our west around Texas, especially we will get some rain this week and then it turns hotter and drier next weekend. So if you enjoyed Mother's Day weekend and then this weekend, it does look like next weekend will maybe start to feel a lot more summer like with our temperatures maybe getting close to that 90 degree mark. We will see, but right now 74. We were so pleasant yesterday. Our high was 82 today, 84 and the dew point temperature is edging up, but to me it still felt really nice outside this evening. Our temperatures north and south are in the 70s and our winds are coming in from the southeast. You know that's increasing the moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So for your wake up forecast, not as cool lows in the 60s to about 70. So no more upper 50s like we have been scraping the past few mornings on the North Shore and we will set our rain chance at near 30%. So not everyone will get rain, but a couple of the models do have a couple of early showers tomorrow and then some more scattered rain through the day and then scattered rain continuing through much of the week. Satellite and radar imagery nice and quiet right now. Any rain is really way off to the west of us. We have these two competing things happening actually right now at the surface and then later this week it will be happening and staying in the upper atmosphere too. High pressure out to the east, dry, tranquil weather there, low pressure out to the west and rainy and unsettled weather there and we're right in the middle. So that's why we're going to have these chances for rain pretty much each day this week. This is our forecast model, a different one from the one I showed you earlier. And look at this. This one does have a few showers entering the scene by about 7 a.m. tomorrow. Now, thankfully, the severe risk is quite low this week. We may have a few strong storms, but we're just not looking for a really high chance for uh, severe storms. We're looking at 10 a.m. tomorrow. You can see some downpours in the area. 1 p.m. probably still finishing, but it does look like we'll be having just sort of more a regular type of thunderstorms, maybe with some brief heavy rain and lightning and thunder and so forth. But again, the severe risk is looking lower and looking like it will stay off mainly to the west of us. This is tomorrow evening. Again, note the rain, especially west. And then by Tuesday, this could be Tuesday morning. We may have a few of those downpours in the area. So starting our different sort of pattern as we get into this week. Tomorrow, by the way, the high will be about 83. It looks like winds a little bit breezy, kind of like today, southeast up to about 15 miles per hour and do be prepared for a few storms. Just kind of keep your umbrella around. I would say really through this week, grab it, put it in the car, in your bag, whatever, as we do look at that chance for some of that rain moving in tonight and then through the daytime hours tomorrow. Looking at our upper pattern again, we will have that kind of difference with our rain chances, especially staying west, but then you can see maybe sneaking into other other spots like you know the southeast part of Louisiana, a little drier probably over toward Mississippi. And when we talk about how much rain this week, just the big bullet points, maybe one to two inches higher totals possible way to the west. And again, the severe risk not too high. Here are the upper level winds again, the big upper high to our east, the big trough of low pressure to our west with the rain there, and that will create this scenario where we're in the middle with maybe some of the fringes of the rain, some scattered downpours each day. But look what happens by this weekend. The high really starts to expand over to our area. And when you have that high pressure, you have stable sinking air, there's subsidence. So these are all things that would lead to heating up. Although sometimes when you get a big high, your humidity will go down just a little bit as well. But we'll see if that happens. It does look like it'll be hotter. And then looking at our rain forecast for the next seven days, clearly the big bullseye is over uh, parts of East Texas and you, big gradient forecast for Louisiana, ranging from a few inches on the western fringe to maybe only about a half inch or so for some of our areas. Although you can see at least a few pockets may get a quick couple of inches of rain. So we'll be watching closely all through the week just in case there's a heavy downpour. But again, just kind of more our regular afternoon kind of thunderstorms or maybe a few rounds in the mornings. Our rain chances staying there 40 to 50 percent. And then you can see us drying out and heating up by the weekend.